guys and we love the welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show guys it's amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite dishes your favorite food and we always doing your favorite dishes all the time but anyway today I have some you know what happened to be honest guys I got some beef leftover beef which I did have um, I buy too much beef and I recognize that I can do something with this section of beef right here but my beef just cut up very small I love my, my beef cut up very small, not too big and chunky because you know it takes a little time to cook that kind of way. But I'm gonna show you how you can marinate some curry beef at home. First of all, I got some fresh thyme and I'm gonna put a few pieces of fresh thyme on it, just like that. I got some garlic and I'm gonna put up some chopped garlic, cup of cobra chopped garlic. I got some white onion and also some nice, lovely spring onion. Let's put up the rest of the season. That's the rest of the season on it. So all of those seasons just natural, natural ingredients which is good for you to use to cook at home. And they give you a nice lovely flavor. So today, we, as I said before, we're going to show you how to marinate your curry beef at home. So if you go to the butcher shop or the local meat shop and you buy some beef, and you say, you know what, I saw Chef Ricardo do this video about curry beef. And I'm going to do some curry beef and serve it to some plain rice and some rice and peas at home so yeah, I know you guys love it so look at this now guys and I'm gonna show you how you can do it first of all I got some all-purpose seasoning I'm gonna put because it's not a lot of beef I have at the moment it's probably about half a kilo of beef so I'm gonna put half teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning on it like this give it a lovely flavor and a nice lovely taste and also half teaspoon of paprika Um, I'm using the mild curry powder to be honest so I'm gonna put one large spoon teaspoon put two teaspoon of curry powder but I'm using the mild curry powder not too hot not too spicy it's just right in between and I know it will give you a lovely flavor and a nice lovely taste a pinch of coarse pepper coarse pepper is you know I mean, give you a little spice in it and a little flavor so I got some grounded pimenta and ginger. That's a little pinch. So basically, I want to simply say to you, you can use your kind of seasoning when you normally to marinate your, your curry chicken or your curry beef at home. All I have to do is just use the beef season and put some curry powder on it. So as I said before, you might at home and see you say, oh, I saw Chef Ricardo do this nice, lovely curry beef and I'm going to do some. Um, I'm gonna put a pinch of everyday season just to bring in the flavor also so I know you guys love that and also um, I got some this is some coriander coriander garlic and everyday season inside of this one mixed up lovely and nice second thing I'm gonna simple put some olive oil Olive oil, you know what I mean, just to just get the meat marinated and soak the right and proper way. So I pop a little a bit of olive oil inside of it. Uh, so. so, next thing what we're going to do is to rub it up like this, as I say. Remember, as I said, guys, you can use any kind of beef where you like to marinate your curry beef at home. And curry beef can go with rice and peas. And also plain rice or if you want to do some vegetable rice whatever rice you like you can have it with some fried dumpling boiled dumpling so it's up to you so as you can see i'm just marinating up the right and proper way just to get the flavor inside of the beef you might have said oh chef you talk so much about this thing but guys you have to know that you can see where chef ricardo is all about with this lovely lovely beef right here so i'm just marinating getting all the flavor inside of it now it's really nice and beautiful as you can see i didn't cut my beef the big and thick fat way so if you ask the butcher shop and you want your meat to cut chunky you can cut it chunky if you want to cut it small, you can cut it small. It's up to you. Your option. 
or you want to cut your beef all right so guys hopefully this will be a benefit to you enjoy the recipe subscribe to the youtube channel the more natural seeds you use on it it is the best for the beef all right and you can use your favorite curry powder and your favorite meat season or beef season what you normally use at home to marinate your meat all right guys so remember this is just the way how to marinate the curry beef if you want me to cook the curry beef please write it below and i will definitely cook it for you and show you all the rest of the ingredients where we're gonna put in it so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put my one into a frozen bag like this and i'm gonna put my one in the freezer because i'm not gonna cook this uh, probably till the next probably the next couple of days time so look forward for that video uh, so so that's the way how i do my beef just like this and i'm gonna simple tie my bag and i also can label it and write curry beef and the date also on it so there's a lot of stuff you can do guys for the new year this is another idea for the new year done and dusted thank you so much and see you next time and this is from chef ricardo and the team and i know you guys will love it bye bye